Hello, my name is Diana. Nowadays, many of us have to stay home. I'm a pro in staying at home. I've been working from home for more than five years now. And I will tell you how to enjoy your time, how to take care of your skin, pamper your skin and make a home spa. My skin is very dry and dehydrated and it needs a lot of moisture, a lot of oils. So all the products I show today, they are very good for dry skin. For dry skin, it's very important to use very, very mild cleansing. And the best cleanser I ever tried in my life is from Pai. It's called Camellia and Rose Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. It's from Instant Calm Series, uh, which is made for dry and sensitive skin. It is two in one cleanser. You can use it as a cleanser and a, as a makeup remover. It has three main oils, sweet almond oil, camellia oil and castor oil. And they help to clean your skin without ruining your natural pH balance. It's very, very soft. And after using it, my skin already feels like I used a moisturizer. It's just very nourishing, very nice for dry skin. After cleansing and before applying a mask once a week, Approximately I'm using a peeling and my favorite one is from Susanna Kaufman, the enzyme peel. It has gel structure, no abrasive, so it's very gentle. It has fruit acids, apple papaya and kiwi. It feels very cooling on the skin. It helps to regenerate the cells and it's a perfect preparation for masks and nourishing concentrates. Uh, Susanna Kaufman is a brand from Austria and she has a hotel in Alps. A spa hotel so these products when applying them i really feel like i'm in a spa after peeling to prepare my skin for the mask application i'm using a moisturizing mist my favorite one is from josh rosbrook hydrating accelerator it's very good for dry skin it's based on aloe vera and it has fatty acids and essential oils which moisturize your skin now it's time for masks my favorite one is from Josh Rosbrook also. It's called Advanced Hydration Mask. It has blue tansy, so it's blue. The most famous ingredient in it is Indian Senna Seed, which is also known as a botanical hyaluron acid. Hyaluron acid is great for dry skin. It has the ability to retain 1000 of its own weight of moisture and it helps the skin to keep this moisture. It's recommended to use it once a week for 15 or 20 minutes. But I use it daily, three, four times a week, just massage it into my skin for several minutes and then I don't wash it off with water, I just clean it with a dry towel. After using this mask, my skin is really, really plump and moisturized. Another mask which is very good for dry skin is from Pai, Rosehip Rapid Radiance Mask. It contains legendary Pai Rosehip Oil. It is created for dry and sensitive skin. It doesn't only give moisture to your skin, but it also calms the redness. I use this mask uh, once a week. I know people who use it every day as an overnight care, but I think it has a lot of nourishing ingredients and it's really a vitamin supplement to your skin. Another mask I like is from Susanna Kaufman. It's called Moisturizing Mask. Also very, very thick. This is the one I prefer to use as an overnight care. I'm using as a night cream when I need a moisture kick, but also it can be used uh, once a week for 10-15 minutes. Another mask for dry skin is from Kahina the moisture mask. It contains my beloved hyaluronic acid. This one doesn't only moisturize your skin, but also it has anti-aging effect. It fights with irritations and redness. It calms, moisturizes, nourishes. It's great. I rarely have blemishes, but sometimes I do. And it's a problem to fight with them because all products against blemishes they leave my skin very very dry but there are several products which do their job very gently and they don't uh, dry my skin one of them is from Rav by Trees it's called Sea Silk Exfoliating Cream Mask for those of you who know Honey Mud from May Lindstrom it resembles a little bit Honey Mud it contains raw honey, volcanic ash, seaweed and plant oils. It is a very gentle exfoliator. It has antibacterial effect. It even helps to reduce the scars. 
It can be used as a cleanser, uh, exfoliating cleanser. So you just massage your into your skin and leave it on for five minutes. You can do it up to five times a week. And you can also use it as a mask once a week, thick layer, put it on, leave it for 15, 20 minutes, enjoy the smell. It smells really great, like rakia. <laughs> it leaves the skin very nourished, but also it addresses the blemishes, calms the redness. Another mask which is created for blemish prone skin, but I use it on my dry skin when I have blemishes or some problems, is clarifying mask from Tata Harper. It has a lot of nutrition oils in it as well, so it, it's not drying. It minimizes the blemishes, balances your sebum, but it doesn't leave your skin dry. It has salicylic acid, so it's important that you use sunscreen after using this mask. I apply it only when I have uh, problems, blemishes, only a small amount on, on the point and I leave it for 15 or 20 minutes while I work at home and then I just rinse it with a cognac sponge or a towel and put uh, some moisturizer on top. When possible I'm trying not to rinse off the mask with water, I'm just uh, cleaning the face with a towel and uh, keep the nourishing ingredients on my face. And on top of the mask, I'm using a moisturizer. And uh, my favorite for daytime is also from Susanna Kaufman. It's called Day Cream Line Tea. And this one, it also has very buttery structure. It's very rich, but it's not greasy. It has a lot of herbal ingredients, chamomile, John Worth Blossom. It is also a very good makeup base. Another cream, uh, for very dry and dehydrated skin is from Therapy. It's called Rose Auto Propolis Ultra Radiance Cream. It has propolis and honey, so it calms the skin, calms irritations and reduces blemishes, but also it's super moisturizing. I'm using it in winter as an overnight care. It can be also used as a mask once a week. You can apply it for 15, 20 minutes, thick layer. It's really really intensive moisturizer. Of course, I'm not using these masks every day. I combine them. Uh, so when I have irritations, I use um, calming masks, the one from Pai, the one from Kahina. When I need moisture, I use uh, Josh Rosberg Advanced Hydration Mask or the one from Susanna Kaufman Moisturizing Mask. And when I have um, some blemishes, Rav is great, and Tata Harper. And having done all that, um, having locked all the moisture in my skin, I want to glow. And for that, I'm using Tata Harper Illuminating Eye Cream. It is supposed uh, to be used around your eye area, but I'm using as a highlighter. I use super small amount for the whole face and it gives the skin this very natural, very healthy glow. It looks like you don't have anything on, but your skin is shiny and healthy. I hope it was useful and it helps you to enjoy your time at home.